In some overnight news, a man is forced from his home after a fire breaks out. It happened around 3 this morning at a home near Gibson and San Pedro in southeast Albuquerque. When crews arrived, they saw smoke and quickly got the fire out. Crews on the scene say it looks like some spare wood near a wood burning stove in the living room caught fire. Fortunately, no one was hurt. Police say a teenage girl stops a man from snatching her sister from a busy strip mall in Bernalillo. Police say the 16 year old was walking with her younger sister when Elton Abieta grabbed the child by the arm. Cops say the 16 year old tried pulling her sister away from the man. That's when a passerby yelled for him to let the girl go. One of the tech in the shop asked him what happened, and they said that they're the guy trying to wrap the little girl. Police say the man then asked another guy who was in the area for some money. The suspect tried telling police that he was only trying to ask the girl what time it was, but they didn't buy his story. He is due in court tomorrow on kidnapping and child abuse charges. Well, three people in jail in San Juan County right now after a crazy and dangerous ride this weekend. And we have helicopter video of the whole thing. Take a look. This happened Saturday afternoon on this dirt road near Farmington. The Sheriff's Department helicopter just happened to be in the air when deputies heard about this white truck speeding and driving out of control. They say at one point the truck hit a semi, it kept going. Then it hit an embankment twice, still kept going. Then the truck is going to stop. Two people get out to uh, relieve themselves. Then they get back in and they take off again. Then they stop at a house and that's where deputies arrest them. They say Josh Archuleta was driving, was also drunk. He's now charged with his fourth DUI. He got his third one. Just two weeks ago, Elizabeth. After seven years, a suspected child killer will finally go to trial. Police say Noe Torres fired shots into a Clovis apartment back in 2005, killing 10 year old Carlos Perez. Cops say Torres is a known gang member and was actually attempting to kill the victim's teenage brother. Torres was caught this past January after being on the run and hiding out in Mexico. His trial will start December 6th. Albuquerque police are now looking for the man who was caught on surveillance video stealing from a middle school. Police say the man walked into Taylor Middle School about a week and a half ago. Here's a picture of him during school hours and stole a laptop and a purse. Well, since this happened, the district says it's had four other cases of laptops and wallets getting stolen. If you know who this man is, call police. Do you or your kids drink energy drinks? If so, poison experts in New Mexico tell us they have some concerns. You see, the Federal Drug Administration is investigating whether the drink that is linked to some deaths could be linked to some deaths across the country. We're talking about the Monsters Energy Drink. Now, no death has been reported in New Mexico, but the state poison center has taken calls from about 40 people this year after energy drinks were taken. Well, half of those calls were from people 19 or younger. Five calls involved kids under the age of six. Now, 17 year old Brianna Mesa tells us she was rushed to the hospital a few hours after drinking the energy drink called AMP on an empty stomach. I was like shaking and my heart was feeling weird and because I just I wasn't feeling myself after I drank them, which should stop me from drinking them, but that doesn't necessarily do that. Well, experts say these drinks have seven times more caffeine than a normal can of soda. And doctors say they get even more dangerous when people mix them with alcohol. Yes. Okay, here's a story that's going to touch your heart. Ask yourself this. What would you sacrifice if you had a chance to help a loved one who is suffering from cancer? One man down in Berlin is getting ready to raffle off one of his most prized possessions to help his brother who has brain cancer. News 13's David Romero here in the Newsplex. David, when you hear about what this guy's Raffling off, it's a really inspiring story. That's exactly right, Matt. Art Gonzalez told me he can always replace his classic muscle car, but he can never replace his brother. It's probably one of the most important things that I'll have done in my life. Art Gonzalez has been selling raffle tickets to win something he's put blood, sweat, and tears into. His 1967 Oldsmobile 442. Gonzalez is not parting ways with the car to make money, but rather raise money to help pay for his brother's medical bills. His brother Gilbert was recently diagnosed with stage four brain cancer. Gilbert, he's been he's been the rock in the family. He's he's been a good brother, he's been a good dad, um, he's been a good husband, and he's been a good good friend. Gonzalez says he and his brother used to have fun with muscle cars when they were young, and this seemed to be the perfect way to give back, raffling off a real mean machine. On a totally serious note with this car, it's not a toy. 
Uh, it's got a tremendous amount of horsepower. Gonzalez says the car runs really well with a big block engine under the hood, fat tires in the back, and an exhaust you can hear for miles. He also adds that whoever wins the car can reap the benefits of his hard work. I've done plenty of knuckle busters on this car. Uh, I've, I've spent a lot of money and a lot of time. That labor of love, now a gesture of love for his brother. Now that's a car. Now for anyone out there watching who would like to see the car firsthand and possibly buy a raffle ticket, there are, they are two bucks each, which is a really good deal. And of course, wow. they're going to be at uh, several places throughout the state until the raffle next July. Uh, coming up this weekend, it's going to be at the Walmart parking lot in Socorro. And then next weekend, it's going to actually be here in Albuquerque at the Kmart parking lot at Atrisco and Central. All right, now two bucks each for those raffle tickets. I imagine his car costs an awful lot more than that. You know what, Matt, with the paint job and all the investing that he's done in the engine and just time, I mean, it's in the $50,000 range, but uh, I mean, a good deal, a good price for a oh. good deal. And, and you a can great cause. And you can see the inspiration on his, or, or the determination on his face. I you sat know, in it, I revved it, you can just feel it. it's a good cause. <laughs> Hopefully you oh bought gosh. some tickets too. Oh yeah. <laughs> all right, hopefully everything best for his brother. Very inspiring story, David, thank you. And we, of course, will have more on David's story later this, uh, today on krqe.com if you'd like to revisit the story. In other news this morning, Albuquerque firefighters will be making some big bets today to help out one of their own who is fighting for his life. Gil Pohl was diagnosed with cancer and his fellow firefighters were going to be hosting a Texan Hold'em poker tournament to kick off a fundraiser drive. 